how to get Fallout London and more importantly how to install this damn thing. That's the answer I will hopefully provide you in this video. If you still have some question after you have watched the whole video you can write me down below in the comments. Keep in mind though I'm not a technician, I'm not customer support, I might not know the answer and hopefully somebody else on the internet can help you. Now with that said how to get Fallout London. Well, first things first, and this is very important, you need Fallout 4. I know this is a dumb moment, but you truly do. And more importantly, you need the Game of the Year edition, or you have to make sure that you have all the DLCs. And there is no exception, you need all of them. The only thing you shouldn't use at all is the HD texture pack that can actually lead to issues and crashes. Make sure you don't have that installed, but you need all the other DLCs. You need them. And again, the easiest one is with the Game of the Year edition. If you're using the Steam version or the GOG version, does not matter. Speaking of which, so now that we have established that, how to get the game? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You can go to the GUG Galaxy client, download that, search for Fallout London, and then download it and wait with the installation. Where do you download it? Does not matter. Actually, it does not matter for any of the programs you have to download. Now, if you have the Fallout 4 GUG version of the game, it gets even easier. You get GUG Galaxy client, you click on download, you click on install, and you are done. It's a one simple solution. Now, the reality is most people have probably the Steam version of the game, so it gets a little bit more complicated. As I said, you can already download Fallout London through GOG Galaxy. That's the easiest way to do it. Or if you are somebody who says, nah, man, I, I don't want to download a downloader or something like that. Okay, no problem. Make sure you are going to GOG.com. You are going to the store. Right, it's pretty simple there. You will find Fallout London if it isn't on the front page. Search for it. And then you are going to the page and you can grab the game. Now I've already done that and it will pop up in your GOG library. And yes, you need an account on GOG. And more importantly, it is only available on GOG. It is not available on Nexus Mod. It will never be there. The same goes for Steam. Why? Because it's big. It's as big as Fallout 4 is. It's a huge game and some, well, other issues. But nonetheless, you have to get it from here. That's the only way. And when you click on it, you can, again, use GOG Galaxy to make it pretty simple. Or if you don't want to do that, you can also do it manually by clicking on Download Offline Backup Game Installers right here. Right, you are downloading all the parts but don't install them yet. Do not install any of the downloaded stuff yet. Because what you also have to do first is you have to downgrade Fallout 4 from a version perspective, right? Like if you have the newest version of Fallout 4, you have to downgrade it. This can you do through the Fallout London downgrader and add-ons. Um, again, I will put a link down below in the description like the other stuff as well. So you can just go through the official sources and you can get it there. But you need this. Uh, again, where you download this doesn't matter. And when you have done that, you will find the Fallout London downgrader. You start the thing, you allow this. This will take a hot second. Do not be afraid of this window. This window is actually super helpful in just a few seconds when we talk about it. Uh, you now have to locate your Steam app folder. Where have you installed Fallout 4? And that's probably in your Steam apps. So you're going through wherever that is on Steam, right? Wherever you have stall installed Steam. Steam apps, common, and there you find Fallout 4. And then you click continue. Now this thing is asking you to log in with your Steam credentials. This is safe, like nobody is stealing anything here. Uh, it even asks you for your two-factor authentication if you're using this and so on and so forth. If you do not trust this, you can also manually download all the parts. This will send you to a website. Just make sure you're downloading all the parts there. And then you basically have to unzip the parts into your Fallout 4 folder. If you don't want to do that, like I did, just log in here. And then 
you can start the downgrade process. Now, with that said, a lot of stuff will happen here in the window, right? This window will become very active because it will tell you what it downloads and what it change. If nothing happens here for five minutes, probably that means that the downgrader bugged out. And what you want to do is you want to close the downgrader and start it again because something didn't go right with the two-factor authentication and it's in this eternal loop of not doing anything that happened to me and the easiest fix was to just reset it like close the thing start it again and then it worked without any hiccups now after you have done the downgrading please make sure that you check if you actually have the right version you can just do that by going into your fallout 4 folder right click on the fallout exe properties details and that's the version you want this is the file version you need if that is not a proper file version you didn't downgrade it right and you have to do it again but again that's the thing you're looking for and then you can finally start to download or well if you've already done that just install Fallout London. Now, when you are clicking play, which I have already done right here, this window will pop up. It will not say play for you because, well, you haven't installed it yet. It will say install. It is now very important that you are choosing the Fallout folder. Now you might actually get some errors. It happened to me. I got multiple errors that they don't have the access. They cannot do this, yada, yada, yada. The only thing you have to do is going into your Fallout folder again, do right click, properties, and remove the read only. When you do that and you click apply, you apply the changes, just start the installation process again, and it shouldn't have any issues with overwriting the text files. That's the problem I had. Uh, maybe you are not getting those errors, then you're good, but some people did. And then afterwards, you can play the game. That's it. That's the steps you have to follow to play Fallout London. If you still have some questions, again, let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Second, if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, please leave a like. And third, if you're new to the channel, you want to see more Fall London videos. We are also focusing on the First Descendant, Once Human right now, like a lot of RPG games and survival games. You came to the right place. And I would appreciate if you might consider to subscribe. With that said, mind the gap and stay safe. Till then.